Hey, want to understand fine-grained authorization? Let's get into it. There are plenty of blogs on the internet covering coarse-grained authorization and fine-grained authorization, but they never get to the bottom line. Let's do it in seconds now. So fine-grained authorization enables us to cover all the scenarios, all the different logic. We're able to cover it with our fine-grained authorization policy. It's a tight net that enables us to cover all security vulnerabilities, all our sensitive points, and audit them and make sure we don't miss anything. It allows us to fully leverage identity. We are building complex identity providers and context claims and scopes for our identity. We need to be able to leverage them uh, in a fine-grained fashion in our policy, in our authorization. And we want to do this in a unified way across our stack and network. It doesn't matter where we're enforcing. It doesn't matter where we're testing for policies. We need it to be from a single source of truth. And we want this to be flexible and future-proof so we don't have to constantly rebuild this. These are the basic things that we want for fine-grained authorization. What makes it fun green though? How do we make sure that what we're building actually meets the conditions? So here's are the three things we need to think about. We want this to fit anywhere in our app, uh, meaning it doesn't matter where we're enforcing, single line of code, function, decorator, route, middleware, proxy, gateway, inside our code and external to it, we should be able to enforce our policies. And we want to be able to work with all of our policies, RBAC, ABAC, REBAC, these are going to change. We want to be able to enforce them as they change and with all the flows that we need. And we want to fit all the data, all the data sources we might need. If it's coming from the identity, coming from our own database, it's coming from our uh, LDAP system, from a building server, ERP, geolocation, wherever it is, quotas, we want to be able to combine all of those into our policy so we can get all the fine details. We can get this fine grained. So modern fine-grained authorization has two camps, policy as code with policy agents like Open Policy Agent and AWS Cedar, and policy as graph solutions, what's called Google Zanzibar, with leading candidates like OpenFGA and SpiceDB. It doesn't matter which camp you choose, what's important is that you connect this in an easy and malleable enough way into your app and code. So you can switch as you need, and so you'll be able to leverage the different pros and cons that these solutions have and maybe even mix them together. In Permit will allow you to combine all of these together. Uh, policy as code and policy as graph. All the different policy models mix and interchangeably switch between them. Um, the right interfaces for different people, no code, API, even infrastructure as code to generate your policy as code. And obviously using the different policy engines as you need. So if you're thinking about implementing fine-grained access control, you can definitely do it on your own. And there are plenty of open source solutions, but Permit can really save you a lot of time here. So please check it out. And if you use Permit or not, in the end of the day, it's good to have good abstraction layers. So think about implementing a permission check in identity, action, and resource. Once we think in identities, action, and resources, we can break our code and connect it to our policy very easily. Here we're seeing both an RBAC policy, a RBAC policy where we are looking at the programming driven resource instance, or in this case, a group, and as well with ABAC policies where we can pass in additional attributes or additional information like the tenant is part of the permission check itself, making our interaction with data, the policy, and the identity dynamic and also decoupled from the code. That's basically it. If you have more questions for me, feel free to reach, reach out. You can find me with ease in our Slack community, and you can also grab time to schedule a call over Calendly and Zoom. Uh, thank you, and see you in our next video. Huh?